I'm going to be trying something here over the next 30 days, and I want to uh, invite you, whoever may be watching this, uh, maybe to join me or consider this for yourself. I, I started teaching guitar when I was 16, and so I've been teaching guitar now for over 25 years. Problem is, about 10 years ago, I stopped doing it full time. When I played guitar uh, full time, in terms of teaching and gigging, uh, I would have a guitar in my hand no less than six, maybe eight hours a day, just teaching. And because I had a full student load, full time teaching student load, and I would also gig on the weekends with fingerstyle guitar or play in a band. And you find when you're teaching guitar, you're you're really not practicing, but there were um, a lot of times where uh, if I have a missed lesson or something like that, I would use that time to practice. So I, all, all of that to say is um, for many years, I practiced or had a guitar in my hand for several hours a day. And when I stopped teaching full time, I still do teach, but not as a full time job. And I no longer play in a band. I no longer play finger style guitar gigs. I, I found that my guitar playing has suffered tremendously uh, because now I'm I'm in that situation where I would I used to see in other adults when I would teach adults uh, they would they would come to me to learn the guitar uh, but just couldn't find time to practice and that's why they didn't really oftentimes don't progress and that's not so much their fault because they didn't desire to play the guitar, but because it's just the reality of life as an adult that's not a professional guitar player. It's hard to find time. You have a family, you have a job, and all of those other things. And I always thought, well, you can get 20 minutes of time in. Well, I've learned to, to, to eat those words. So what I'm going to do for the next 30 days is I'm going to do 20 minutes daily of practice. And uh, that doesn't mean I'm not going to do more than just 20 minutes on Sundays, because still today, I, even though I, I, I don't have the time to practice like I once did, uh, there are some days that I do have time, and so I use that time to practice. But here's what I'm going to do, 20 minutes every day. I'm going to do um, a set of six exercises. So it's just going to be working on technique, because I notice that's what's suffered. I'm going to do what I call chromatic tortures, and I have a video showing what those are. I'm going to do an exercise called spider fingers, and I will do a video coming up on what spider fingers are. I'm going to do this one exercise that I call a difficult chromatic thingy. I don't know exactly what to call it, so I'm going to make a video on those those ones already made. I'm going to make two more on what those exercises are. I'm going to do those for two minutes each, and then I'm going to do for four minutes uh, a triplet pentatonic exercise. I'm going to make a video on that. For five minutes, I'm going to do sequential thirds. And then for five minutes, I'm going to do sequential fourths. You add that all up, that's 20 minutes of practice, of just technique. I'm going to make a video of that, and I'm going to chronicle this time, that um, this next 30 days of me practicing. Not chronicling every 20 minute of, of the practice, but I'm going to be chronicling what I'm doing and then I'm going to be releasing a video on the end result of what happens with my guitar playing. And I'm excited to see it because I haven't practiced like that in um, many years. So hopefully, I hope this is something that would encourage other adults that are busy with life and have a hard time finding um, time to practice. And so I'm in that position too. And um, I'm going to make this happen for 30 days.